All right, so today we're going to discuss inequality. Uh, inequality is probably not as important as some other uh, topic in algebra, like a functional equations, that kind of thing. Probably more likely you're going to encounter a standard algebra problem involving polynomial concept or a functional equation rather than inequality. And but nonetheless, that's uh, an important part. And so, just using this hour, we start uh, to discuss some basic concept or basic technique in inequality. Uh, inequality, the basic technique, everyone already know that's a trivial inequality. And then from there, you can get like. Uh, the standard use AMGM and Cauchy. And then other than that, pretty much just basic maneuvering. And so here I gave you this example. This also has a name. And I think it's called a, this patio. Maybe the name spelled wrong, but he's the author of a, uh, a couple of books I read before, and he found this, but then later found out that this inequality was proved in the late 19th century. So look at this one. It's the highly symmetric. There's a side area, and then the tricky part is they link those two. So we could easily guess the echo will take hold. Either they are similar or congruent. And then if you sink a little deeper, you will see this, uh, when this uh, two triangles similar, the echo sign holds. Okay. So how do we solve this one? Two triangle, their side related, not that easy. Um, from here, look at this one. Your first instinct might be think about using this uh, low cosine, and then you calculate. And there's a way to do that for sure. But here, as an introductory to some basic technique, think about some uh, maneuvering. So I will show you a way of using Cauchy to prove this. Uh, when we use Cauchy, now we know this. And it's better to make those kind of a, a same shape. So instead of those two side square add together, subtract the third, you probably think about, uh, think about those, uh, the O addition. So make that one in B1 square, B2 square, B3 square. Uh, if that's the case, you have some, the, the whole left side can get to A1 square plus A2 square plus A3 square. Then you need to subtract two times a1 square, b1 square, a2 square, b2 square, a3 square, b3 square. Greater than 16x1, x2. So that is like this greater equal 16x1, x2. Uh, look at this. Rethinking, you apply Cauchy on the left side. And this one, we know this, the right side, you could, right? this is definitely less than 16x1 square plus two times a1 to the fourth power plus a2 to the fourth power plus a3 to the fourth power times 16x2. 
d1 to the first power, d2 to the first power, d3 to the first power. And I'll put the bracket. So here we could use this, uh, this hero parent formula and this one just equal to a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square b1 square plus b2 square plus b3 square right and then this whole thing this whole pretty easy right so some of this uh, kind of basic technique it's uh how do you know when to apply what? And that's you pretty much learn from experience. But then there are some common procedure that is useful in lots of scenarios. So next we discuss some basic transformation. Uh, first thing first, we did the trick substitution. So I'll give you this one. Any A, B, C that are real, prove A square plus two, B square plus two, C square plus two, which are equal nine A, B plus B, C plus C, A. And then you see this, if we use the normal uh, normal algebraic way to do this, you have to think of a really good medium polynomial that is less than the left side, greater than the right side. That's not very easy. But with this one, and then especially if we, since all of you did this, most of you, did uh, Amy one this year. And then the last problem, probably you notice know using trick substitution. So for this, probably remind you this using trick. And using trick, one thing for sure is you have to make sure the domain is the domain of that one with the range of the trick substitution is the same. So this one, real number, and you know you got to use tangent or cotangent, but no difference here. We use tangent. So a equal square root two tangent a, and b tangent b square root two tangent c. Now, if we do this one, this whole thing. This can be left side is secant square. You can multiply to the right side and leave the constant on one side. So you get four over nine equivalent to prove this one. That's uh, tangent of cosine. Cosine A, cosine B, cosine C. The other cosine A, cosine B, cosine C, we already multiply them in. So you get cosine A, sine B, sine C, plus sine A, cosine B, cosine C, plus sine A, sine B, cosine C. And this part, how do we maneuver from here? This, you have to be a little familiar with some of the basic trick identity. And you have three of them. So even if you don't know, try to think maybe this, this some of those three angles. So if you explore that, you see cosine a plus 
B plus C equal cosine A, cosine B, cosine C minus cosine A, sine B, sine C minus sine A, cosine B, cosine C minus sine A, sine B, cosine C. And this tells you we could substitute this into the above inequality. That's equivalent to show this pro nine time co uh, greater equal cosine A cosine B cosine C and cosine A cosine B cosine C subtract cosine A plus B plus C. And this inequality probably some of you should have done before. Uh, a simple technique, so kind of like a fudging. So if you have three, you try to show this. Uh, it's deviated from those O equal. So you let theta equal A plus B plus C divided by three. And then you get cosine A, cosine B, cosine C less equal. cosine A plus cosine B plus cosine C cube less equal cosine. So now this one, this the top one, this can be simplified even further. This equal to show greater equal cosine cube theta cosine cube theta minus cosine three theta. And uh, up to this part, probably most of you should already know, right? You probably you should have done this type of problem before. Right, so next we definitely cosine three theta. You can turn them in. And to substitute this with a three cosine theta. And next, when you see that one, the remaining, you can use the Cauchy. So, yeah. Cosine theta times cosine square theta times one minus cosine square theta. And in order to use it, we need to divide by two. And then one third power, this less equal one third, right? So compare those and you know this definitely holds. There are some missteps that I think you can easily fit it. Uh, just a one side note here. And here we just kind of doing the exploration style. And when you do the proof, even though this is not, uh, I mean, when you do the proof, you probably should write backward. So that way, you do need to show this uh, the statement uh, equivalent, or you are trying to prove a stronger statement. And so probably that will be a little easier. But the inequality definitely similar like a geometry problem, and you solve them. You most likely have to use uh, exploration. Right. And writing that's the proof. Uh, put them in reverse order. So I'll give you another one just to practice this concept. Okay, sorry, let me see what. Okay, yeah, so 
uh, William told me I have a typo down here. Yeah, so that might be the case. Yeah. Kind of, uh, hate to write so many stuff. And uh, next, what we do is you have x, y, z. That is positive real number. And also x plus y plus z equal x, y, z. And as you prove, one over z square less equal three over two. And uh, hopefully for this one, you can easily solve this. This pretty trivial. Um, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. So um, this is my first time um, doing this class. Um, okay. So for like, um, so this level, right? Um, this yeah. class is like for what students, like what grade level, I guess. Uh, this one is for people who already um, did very well in Amy, and then they have an intention to do well in JMO, AMO for that level. So yeah, they definitely need to, uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty experience in math competition. In beginning student uh, doesn't really benefit from this. Oh, they don't? Oh. Uh, they, 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 some of this is uh, like, uh, yeah, so this, I'll say some of this is not even useful for, uh, for, for college level. So this is just something extra, so. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Okay, so this one, well, I discussed with that, uh, either that uh, mom or, but which will have a very young voice, but, uh, uh, lady so i hope most of you while we did that short conversation you already figure out the solution for this one right and put on here you know this you're going to use uh trick substitution and by this format one plus i square and you notice you have to use tangent and also when you tangent because it's a positive you let them to be in the first quadrant. So uh, tangent A, and similar with B, etc. cetera, that's A, B, C must be between zero and pi over two. Uh, when you do that one, you are trying to show the cosine A plus cosine B plus cosine C less equals three over two. And from this criteria, X plus Y plus z equal x y z that one you know indicate a b c are the interior angle of a triangle and this just show this thing should hold and this one it's also a pretty standard practice problem or you could use this convex function easily show this one is correct. So that's the trick. And so if we have some of the standard one, like uh, let's see this problem, an earlier problem, either that's a given criteria or that's uh, this, the structure that's uh, relate to some of the trick identity that remind you to use the trick substitution. That's pretty obvious. And yeah, so that's the easy part. And uh, next we talk about some other transformation and the basic substitution. So basic substitution is sometimes the given criteria is like pretty 
complicated, right? And you know, if you're going to treat it directly, it will be too much hassle. And for that one, you have to think the exam writer, how they come up with this type of thing. Definitely is they must work with some uh, like some concepts or something, and then they find out that probably can be related to this like a JMO AMO level problem. And then they, in order to tweak the level of difficulty, then maybe they do a few more transformations to hide it. So it's up to you. Try to find out what's the reverse to change to a more obvious type. And some are easy and some are not that obvious, just like we know, it's just like cracking a code, right? Easy to multiply the two large prime numbers, but cracking them is difficult. So let's say this example, still ABC positive real, and ask you to prove A over square root A square plus 8BC plus B over square root B square plus 8AC plus C over C square plus 8AB. This one greater equal one. Uh, what this thing, this is not good at all, right? And then they bundle together. So what we want to do, we could just treat this three expression as X, Y, Z. And then it just asks you to show this X plus Y plus Z greater or equal one. And Now with that, you can see this. We want to relate the X, Y, Z. So how do we do that? We can say definitely you need to you have a square over a square plus a b c equal x square. And now it reminds you if somehow I just do a square over b c, then multiply those three together, you get just equal to one. And a square over b c, or just let's keep that eight down here as well to make it a little easy for me. And that's a basic proportional. So that tells you one over 512 equal x square or one minus x square. And uh, so this problem change it to this one hold prove x plus y plus z greater than one. Right. How do we prove greater than one? And directly maneuver this still difficult, but uh, we can use prove by contradiction. Suppose x plus y plus c not greater equal one less than one, and we try to show this cannot be valid. And with that one, we can multiply them. This greater than, let's see, less than one. So we could use this criteria, substitute the one with x plus y plus c.
أنا that's hard. If we simplify this, you will get they have the common part. Uh, like this is also like a pretty good factoring problem. You can check. Plus x to x plus y plus z, and then this x plus z to z plus x plus y, and then there's you have uh, what x plus y. Uh, 2y plus x plus c. Now from here, this one, clearly, you know, it's just using AMGM. You can show this greater equal, uh, the detail I'll just skip, but very easy to see right? why we can use AMGM. Of course, there are some minor, Technique like how do we deal with two x and it just a uh, two z okay that's z z times z and you know that in the end they will just combine together right so this one will give you five twelve x square y square z square and then that's contradict to the given criteria. So that shows you the thing must hold. Right, so you can see this is just, if you do this simple substitution, the thing gets clear and clear. And if you just stuck with the original one, I don't know how to get that. Right. Um, let's another substitution type. And this one, we'll just discuss what's likely the transformation, and then we'll just move on and not give detail, even though it's Probably not difficult. Right. Look at this one and what we like to do with this. You had those uh, also have A, B, C equal one and A, B, C uh, positive. There's a proof of this thing. And with this criteria and those in the denominator, and uh, you had this B plus C. What you want to do? Just do inverse y equal one over b, c equal one over c. And uh, if you do that one, this each expression is simplified. You will get uh, I think x squared over y plus c, y squared over c plus x, z squared x plus y, which equals three over two, and then this is definitely done. And then another one, also ABC positive, 
uh, a plus b plus c equal a b c and uh, as you prove one plus a square one plus b square plus c square I believe lots of you probably already done this problem before. And then if you, uh, familiar with this, you could also use trick substitution to do this one. Probably it's easier, but then you could also do this, uh, just normal, like x equal one over a, y equal one over b, c equal one over c. Then this thing, a plus b plus c equal their product. You will get x y plus y z plus c x equal one. And then thing you want to do from this a one plus a square, this will change to x over one plus x square. Y over one plus y square. C over one plus c square. And then you could brought in that one. Yeah. Once you get that one, uh, you can just use uh, AMGM, you can figure out. Again, this is a really old problem, so we'll not. Yeah. Another also this very familiar problem, same thing, maybe I just, Put it down here. Also, a minus one plus y over b, b minus one plus y over c, c minus one plus y over a, less equal one. Okay. So this same me a little bit. Same question. Solve this one. Uh, what do we do with this? And from here, you see, if I, if you just do the earlier one using reciprocal, you're not going to benefit, right? Because you have one over A, you also have A. So that substitution does not really lead you anywhere simpler. So this one, what we do is, you know, we can do, since their product, oh, I shouldn't, this, this, this should be a separate problem. I mean, it's ABC equal to one. If ABC equal to one, prove this. So ABC equal to one, And here, we know you can do A equal X over Y, B equal Y over C, C equal C over X. And with this substitution, you change this whole thing to a homogeneous polynomial. And that definitely will be a little easier. So this one probably just, since it's uh, pretty standard, I think you can easily figure out the solution or you can find, so this just gave you a hint and then we'll not work on the detail. And so last, next one. 
another substitution type. We, I know we move pretty quick. This is the under assumption. So you already seen some of those before. And also just based on confidence in you. Otherwise, each, pro each problem, if first time you see this, taking half an hour is norm. No need to feel bad if you, as I say, I say there's a problem you can do that. So it still probably take a while. And next, uh, we show this. A, B, C, positive. A plus B plus C equal to one. And as you prove, A over A plus B, C, B over B plus C A plus A B C over C plus A B less equal one plus three square root three over four. Uh, with this criteria, you know square root three. Those coefficients quite likely probably involve some trick, but then trick sum of this three equal to one, we don't have a really good one, and also the left side is really ugly, right? Different degrees, and then it's not consistent. So what shall we do with this one? This is also a standard substitution. X equal BC over A. Y equal AC over B. Z equal AB over C. Now with this one, the left side, it's one plus x squared, right? You can just simply divide them. One plus y squared and z over one plus c squared. Less equal. And a plus b plus c equal one. That tells you x y plus y z that's the x equal to one. And now look at this. You know this. Uh, and this one, it's identical. So, to which trick substitution? X equal tangent A over two. Y equal tangent B over two. C equal tangent C over two. Right, so those are the some things you just got to remember. So that's what I uh, don't like to, uh, unless you definitely want to proceed and try to uh, like seriously attempting this type of problem a competition. Otherwise, uh, knowing too much of this simple technique, it's not very beneficial in the long run. It's, in the past, when pe before people have computers, or especially that's different algorithm, you just get to know the different transformations so you can improve your speed. But nowadays with this uh, 
or the record manipulating system. Computer can help you solve this one. So less of need for you to do this in in the future. If you are researcher, etc., probably not as important as before. So like if you don't plan to do well in JMO AMO, no need to spend too much time. Yeah, like so then here, if you didn't think of it this way, it will be difficult. And once you think of this way, and the remaining part will be relatively easy. Right? And you can see when you sub the mean, yeah, one over one plus an A over two square. And this one, when you look at this one, you probably notice this there's a universal formula right to represent the sine cosine tangent in term of tangent half angle okay. so with that one you know this will relate to uh, sine or cosine uh, cosine this will give you a cosine formula but this one will be sine and so you're going to get something like cosine A, cosine B, sine C with some extra term that's kind of like constant. Uh, how do we treat this one? Because there are angle in a triangle. So sine C, this is just cosine A plus B over two. And with this transformation, the resulting inequality very easy. So some of the minor details, and if you are interested, like this type of problem is better for you. We already gave you the main idea and then uh, you could find time redo this whole thing okay and get to know some of the mine first of all we'll probably mix them together and then see with fresh eye do not try to recall what's the approach you're just trying to think what is intuitive for you and then recreate it and then if needed refer to your notes see okay which part i miss and how i can get to the final solution. And besides each one of this, you could have more than one, right? like uh, William point out. And just for me, I present the same problem twice, just showing you one you can use trig, one you can use just algebraic. And if you think about it, you could use uh, some other approach to solve this inequality as well. So like inequality, I'm not as confident as like a normal uh, polynomial that that's probably you have one or two approach significantly better than others. Inequality, I don't think anyone can say that is definitely the best approach. Although you could figure out a few good ways, like the first problem I presented, that's a very famous one. And that's, that's uh, that way of solving this. It's uh, significantly simpler than actually that's a patio or patio. He, the way he proved it. So just, if you're interested, just find time to redo those. Uh, so this substitution, um, basically you just have to look at the problem and try to figure out what is the most Meaningful, right? Just like uh, trying to calculate Oscar line in geometry. And the approach 
definitely should help you appreciate or memorize this problem simpler. Right? So you don't substitute for the sake of substitution. Uh, let's say this one. So this, I forgot, to, I think problem nine. A, B, C are uh, sides of a triangle and then prove sigma A, down here sigma A, this just means A, B, C, and sigma Y over A, which are equal six sigma A over B plus C. Okay. So this one, what shall we do here? Side, and then you have this. And especially A over B plus C. What is a good substitution? And this one, it's also something you need to uh, familiar with it, or at least uh, like work out a couple problem. And side of triangle, you can write this as a sum of two, right? It's, it's a inscribed circle, cut each one. So with this way, this thing will change it to this sigma x, sigma y plus c, greater equal, here we have two, so this six hundred three, sigma y plus c, two x plus y plus c. Um, normally, we don't like uh, make this a little bit more complicated, right? Compare this one to the original, seem more complicated. But this one, by doing this way, uh, we can next we can just get rid of all the denominator. And then we could use uh, sum of square to show this definitely hold. Right. And we can try to do this. So I'll just tell you if, just to guide you, if you're interested, I'll just copy the notes. This one, once you get rid of all the denominators, this will give you x square, x square minus y square, x square minus z square. That's three. That's why S square minus Y square. So this also tells you when does this equal sign take hold? Clearly when this all three are identical. So that means originally it's a equilateral triangle. That's how. Right. So, mm, 
So this is probably some of the more prevalent substitution method. And then for definitely there will be other type and you could try to attempt just like trying to draw the oxygen line and trying to see if I do a certain substitution that they make the problem simpler or it's more complicated. You could afford to have temporary make this seem to be a little more complicated, just like, uh, like sometimes you prefer to change the number to a complex, right? So that might make them more difficult by introducing an actual variable. But then that way, after one or two steps, you can make everything click, then that likely to be a correct approach. So next we discuss a special kind of substitution. Uh, say this one, x, y, z, and then y, x plus z, x plus x, y equal one, and then prove. one plus y square z square y plus z square greater equal pi over two right so down here even though earlier i mentioned when you see this y x plus c x plus x y equal one is equivalent to that half angle tangent substitution right but then you know, from, from what they ask you, if you use the trick substitution, this thing will be too complicated. Yeah. So the trick substitution does not apply here. Uh, what we do with this one, this is a special, because the expression is highly symmetric and you could just arrange them in order. And then you substitute their difference. Y equal X plus S, Z equal X plus X plus T. And T equals equal to zero. So after this one, next you need to so here uh, and then substitute those with substitute x y z with x x t and using this X and T, they are all positive and trying to show this whole thing is valid. And the computation is a little complicated, but then it's definitely doable. Okay, so this is like a, it's, it's got to do what you got to do. I don't know. Anyone has a bad uh, matches for solving this? So next, give you another one. A, B, C. Prove. Three over B plus two C plus three over C plus two A plus 
square over a plus two b, which are equal two over b plus c, c plus a, a plus b. Um, this one, we're going to use similar approach. But I think about what we do with this square root two and two. Let's think. Uh, you might be tempted to think that they all have B, C. How about I put them together and see what you get? And just a little bit. Of try and error, you see that one. Mm, most likely not going to work, but like I said, this inequality, no one can say this, that method won't work. So you're welcome to try this. And here we try to demonstrate you using this concept. So what you can do is try to compare this one with zero, right? And then you get this denominator B plus C. And then B plus two C. So there's six of them. And then down here, numerator, you get the expression of ABC. And then ABC, think about it. Why give you in this domain square root two, one over square root two and two square root two? You notice from here in this part, you definitely have. A plus B greater than C, same with the other. So this, look down here. This just means A, B, C, you could put them as a side of a triangle. Okay. So with side of triangle, we can do that earlier substitution, A equal Y plus C, B equal C plus X. C equal X plus Y. And then you also just uh, arrange those in order. So you get ABC equal F of X plus Y. Uh, I should do Y plus C. And B is Z plus X, C X plus Y. And this one is going to be a polynomial about x, y, z. Now from here, you use the earlier substitution, x, x plus x, x plus. And with this particular one, you decided to do this x plus t or just simply do a t and because this this one by changing them just to a t you avoid putting the other two in order so just 
do the simple x for t. And you know x and t all greater than zero. So this, this one is okay. And once you get this, you will get a polynomial about the three variables. And also you're going to uh, you're going to try to show them this definitely should be greater or equal to zero and then you can prove them. And sometimes those ones are pretty easy. Sometimes you might even make sense because this is uh, most likely if you do this way, it's going to be a higher degree polynomial. And you could use a, you could use a derivative to show that one, right? find out the pivot point, critical point, and then show this for any positive, this always either positive or negative, right? depending on here, but this particular one going to be positive. So, so that holds. Or there also could be, you could uh, sometimes maybe they come with a polynomial with one variable that is second degree. Treat them like correct. You use discriminant and then show that discriminant greater than zero and then leading coefficient of that is greater than zero. Uh, Discriminant less than zero. So like using, if you find a variable only second degree, a greater than zero, discriminant less than zero, let's show this always greater equal zero, uh, greater than zero. And that also could be. And this approach, it's uh, not elegant, right? So, but then, Technically, if you are really good with uh, algebra, you could make this work. And so this should be your last result. Right? If you can do other ways, and you should try other simpler ones. So next, let's do a IMO problem to end this class and again, A, B, C, D positive. There's some equal to one and prove B, C, D plus C, D, A plus D, A, B plus A, B, C less equal one plus 176 a b c d over 27. Uh. This one. This is uh, welcome to check this 1993 IMO. Using this method, suppose we had this. And uh, of course, whether this, for this particular one, and technically you need also to, this is cyclic, right? And technically you should not directly, and what only to say, we can do this one, but then if we can definitely find one that's the smallest, Right, that's a cyclic, and then arrange the other three 
and show them in any order, this will give you the same thing. Right? You should explain that one. Otherwise, if you just directly say this, assume A less B less than C less than D, that's not totally rigorous. And then we use what we mentioned, so A plus X, C equal A plus X plus Y, D equal A plus X plus Y plus C. And you have that one, just one. What is one entitle you? This is just A plus B plus C plus D. And you want to make them in the same order. So this one just A plus B plus C plus D to the fourth power plus 176 A, B, C, D minus 27. And left side, it's 30 degree. And then so far, all of these are 40 degrees. So we could add one, this is BCD plus CDA plus DAB plus ADC. And treat this one as a polynomial and then we substitute that one with A, X, Y, Z. And if you substitute this one with A, X, Y, Z, so this will be F of A, A plus X, A plus X plus Y, A plus X plus Y plus Z. Uh, remember here, all of these are positive. Now with this, the good thing is, if you simplify all of this, this left side, this positive part, has all those parts contained in this right side. So in the end, you just get this uh, really complicated polynomial. But then the good thing is every term, it's a uh, positive. Yeah. And then that's easy to show. So you can see this is a, uh, this probably some problem and uh, you definitely want to try. by we are using this complexity of algorithm manipulation, but that we know that one is definitely doable. And for the sake of this, you have no other way to easily do it. And so, it's the detailed expression I don't need to show you. So suggest you attempt this. So you can see, just like I said, uh, this type of approach, it's mm, not elegant, but uh, most likely it will work. So you have to say, uh, willing to try this because like this one, normal circumstances, I would not either bother to do this type of thing. It's, uh, when I see this type of problem, I'll probably just uh, uh, trying to look for other ways. And then if I do not, then I will just think uh, using this method and then I check the solution. 
is that the case at the past? But then for your case, and uh, you, uh, you have to have some confidence, right? When what is the time for you to adopt this method? Mm. Earlier problem, there are I think there's a couple of them. You could use similar idea. Uh, you can see the setup pretty similar, but then uh, since we have better ways, it's highly recommend against using this method. But this one, this this three problem, in especially this IMO problem, using this pretty simple. Right. And then that's this kind of uh, substitute one with those things, make them all equal. That's also pretty, make this whole thing looks really reasonable. Right. So that's a problem I should recommend you try this on your own. All right. So we'll stop here. Oh.